So let's do. <laughs> let's do this guy. Suppose I want to be parallel to y equals 5, and the point that I'm going to pass through is 10, negative 92. What are you going to do here? You don't know? Uh, y equals 5. The slope of a horizontal line is 0. Slope of a horizontal line is 0. Yeah, I'll buy that. But you know what might be easier, Nicole? Draw a picture. <laughs> That's incredible. That is crooked as... Oh, okay. I'm going to try to straighten this up a little bit. There we go. That's better. Now, what does y equals 5 look like? Straight line. All lines are straight. <laughs> it is a horizontal line that looks like this, right? y equals 5. If I say I want you guys to be parallel to a horizontal line, what do you look like? No. You look like another horizontal line, don't you? Yeah. Now, I want to go through the point 10, negative 92, which is going to be somewhere right here. Okay, it doesn't have to be exact. I don't really care. You're right. If you're going to be a horizontal line that goes through this point, then the equation is y equals negative 92. Right. Now, if I change this up a little bit, and I said, you know what? What if I wanted to be perpendicular? If I want to be perpendicular to y equals 5, how are you perpendicular to a horizontal line? You're going to be a vertical line, right? So if I need to be a vertical line that goes to this point, what's the equation for that guy? What's the equation for any vertical line? X equals a number. In this case, x equals what? you got to go through this particular point. Ten. And that x value is 10. See, for problems like this, you really need to draw them out and see what's going on. Because up here, what is the slope for this guy? The slope is 0. So what is the slope parallel to that? 0. What is... perpendicular slope. Perpendicular slope is undefined, isn't it? Yep. If you try to use the word undefined and plug that into the slope-intercept form or the point-slope formula, it's going to look really weird. Right? Because yep. if you try to use y equals mx plus b, well my y is negative 92, my slope is undefined, my x is 10, so let's see, negative 92 equals what's undefined times 10. But you can use your calculators on this one. So it's probably not going to work out well. Why don't you just stick to drawing a graph for that? It's going to help you out.